Adding a fuzzy CLI to your workflow can be a great efficiency boost. So here are the top four CLIs. Number four is ZF. This one's written in Zig. And the idea is that it prioritizes file names over just general fuzzy matching. Um, I like this one. We're going to use my sesh CLI in order to show how this works. And so it's fairly simple. Uh, if we wanted to look at uh, something like this, we can see that it matches based off of uh, prioritizing the file name. Um, and so if I do something simple like TD, we'll see that it doesn't quite match up to where I'd want. Um, and so this one has a fairly low score for not having a lot of configuration options um, and being kind of plain in the way that it looks. But there is a telescope plugin that offers this sort of improvement to matching. Um, so do check this out uh, if you are a telescope user. Number three is gum. Now gum is a Glamour shell script and so it has lots of features. This is written in Go. For today, we're just gonna showcase the filter command. And the filter command, you can see this one, it sort of fills up the screen. It looks a lot nicer and um, it actually does a really good job with matching. Um, and so we can see here that it also does partial matching and lines up super, super well. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. However, um, I find that it's hard to integrate with Tmux and even though it looks nice, there are quite a lot of features missing compared to the others. It's great to use gum for all sorts of things. And so I'm sure I can talk about it in future videos. Um, so make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. But for now, this is number three. Number two is a recent addition. I didn't know about this one. It's called Skim and it is written in Rust, which of course all of us developers in the terminal love Rust. Um, and so this is similar to one that you might know. Uh, has lots of great features. It is a work in progress. It is definitely not the most popular one, but um, I'm impressed by what it's doing with the project so far. Um, and so you can see here, it does a decent job um, at matching. And it's of course very fast because it's written in Rust. And there are tons of options to change things, add previews and all of that. And so that's number two. And to nobody's surprise, number one is FCF. So if you spent any time on YouTube and the terminal, you've probably seen videos on this. Um, this one is, of course, also written in Go, like the gum CLI. This one is wildly popular by a lot uh, compared to the others. It is incredibly feature rich. Um, I have been using it for many, many, many years. In its most basic form, uh, I've done some things in order to change the way it looks, uh, but it does uh, do a good job matching. Um, and you'll notice here as well that I personally um, use it for my Tmux session manager. And so you can add bindings where you can sort of change what things are listed. So I have a bunch of these. Uh, I also have the ability to execute commands. I could talk probably a whole video about FCF. It may be to no surprise of anyone that this one's number one. Um, but yeah, FCF's amazing. And of course, uh, maybe you didn't know about the others, but this is the one to know about for sure. And that's it. Those are my top four fuzzy CLIs. A lot of different programming languages, cool ways to see in which how they do kind of the fuzzy matching algorithms sort of differ between tool to tool. And of course, the more feature rich ones are higher on the list for me. But what is your favorite fuzzy tool? Uh, and are there any that I didn't mention in this video? Um, let me know. Um, I'm excited to announce Sesh, which I showed off today. Um, Sesh is my Tmux session manager. Uh, it's written in Go, so it's faster than ever, and um, it's more flexible than ever. Uh, I liked the idea of being able to bring your own fuzzy CLI tool, uh, and so I'm excited for that. So make sure to please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.